Hello, it's Scott, the Urban Beekeeper. I'm back. Um, gonna open up the hive. This will be uh, probably two weeks since I installed the package bees. Um, I haven't really opened the hive since. I want to see what's going on. I've learned a couple things since then. One of the reasons that you light your smoker and have the smoke going is the bees' instinct is uh, they think the forest might be on fire, so they are getting ready to leave the hive and get away from the fire as quickly as they can. So they start gorging themselves on the honey and food that's in the hive and I really just, like I said, they don't pay any attention to me. They just want to get. Um, you can see that I am not wearing any gloves today. I really feel that safe. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I think really the protective equipment is just to stop me from flinching when the bees start buzzing around my head because they just don't seem to care about me at all. Uh, so you're supposed to light your smoker, get the bees thinking that the forest is on fire, give them a minute, blow in your smoke, and then give them a minute. Oh boy. Hope you can see in there. Um, I'm going without my gloves this time. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, we have just honeycomb everywhere. Unbelievable. I, uh, I just ended up with nine frames in my hive because, and maybe that's not a good idea, somebody told me that that would make it easier to get in there and pull things apart. And maybe, like I said, that's not a good idea because now I can't uh, I see that they're wider than the combs are wider than I would have wanted. You can see that this frame, they have not drawn out at all. Set that over here. But, wow, look at this. It's just buzzing in there. That comb is just all drawn out. It's full of honey in those cells. Hopefully, those cells have eggs or something in them. I guess not though. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on so I can't see anything without my glasses. I believe that the queen should be laying eggs in some of these cells at this point. I certainly hope. And look, those look like they might be capped cells. I don't know exactly if that's a brood cell that's capped off. Right up here along the top where my thumb's pointing. Or whether they're just capping off the honey there, I think. You can see this big drone male bee. I think they're just capping off the honey. I'm not seeing Queenie. stuff they call uh, well, not, I can't recall what they call it. it starts with a P this, this sticky stuff is actually sticky all over Let's see what we get here that's fun watching them they do their little abdomen shake talking to each other oh yeah I can see it I don't know whether the video will see it or not, but if you look real closely into those cells, you can see little eggs in there. That's very exciting. I'm thinking those are, oh, and they're well spread out. That is very interesting. Okay. Not that I'm really worried about her. Maybe 
interesting too much. Uh, just marvelous. They're not bothering me at all. Oh yeah. Nah, that's beautiful. I believe that's capped uh, brood cell. That means all those little capped cells are full of larvae that are going to turn into bees. Look down on this side. All those cap cells are brood cells, I believe. That is great. All those are going to be new bees in probably another week. That's when my hive will start to increase in size. Man, this frame's heavy. Looking around on this one, I don't see clean either. I do believe uh, if it's that I definitely have an easier time working with those frames than I did when there was 10 in there. There's bird cells on that one, all the filled and capped over. The rest of it's just filled up with honey. There's the queen. See the little blue dot on her? Right in the middle in her long abdomen. She's walking around. I don't know if she's laying eggs or what. The little bee checking me out on my finger. Hello. Just checking me out, not stinging me though. Where'd you go, Queenie? I want to make sure I don't smash you when I put this back together. Sorry, guys. I'm sure the queen's fine then. Maybe I wish I hadn't put in, not put in that last frame.